on my way to you. There's a lot of pressure on our young girls when they're coming through to be successful and really quickly because they are judged a lot harsher because they are so much more recognisable. Oh. One of the females stuff up a game, it's, oh, females aren't good enough. If a male referee stuffs up a game, it's, oh, that referee wasn't good enough. I'll show one from your game where the chaser's whole body is offside. But if you look with both feet, both feet are behind the ball. He's just going that way and the kicker's going this way. So the kicker's leaning back, the runner's going that way. So unless it's obvious, don't touch it. I refereed in the NRL for 18 years, 350 something games. I have a job now where I work for New South Wales Rugby League referee development, it's getting referees out of park football and bringing them through the pathways so that they can sort of reach their potential. Eyes forward! Try and get down to 115. We have a squad of 55 young referees. In that group, we have seven females. Any female that's fit enough to referee at the NRL level are generally already elite at another sport because you have to be an elite athlete to referee at that level. So it's trying to get them younger and, and introducing them to this because refereeing in this country is a great opportunity for young females to be full-time athletes. The only difference between the boys and the girls is we'll look at structuring the training a little bit different where possible. We have to put our bodies through a lot more than the males in terms of having to push more just with our biomechanics and that's just how we are. It's a really tough gig to get into, so trying to break that whole social stigma around females in sport. I see it firsthand. Young girls seem to get more personal abuse than, than young boys when it comes to officiating. I've got no doubt that they don't mean to do it, but they can be quite condescending when they're talking to a young female. So they might talk to a 15-year-old referee, male referee, around what they do, and they get really technical. Talk to a 15-year-old girl around the same thing, but instead of being technical, they try and dumb it down, which then hampers their ability to improve. I've always had thick skin. I think every ref has their own way of sort of coping and dealing with situations that might test them. I'd love to be knocking back females because we've got too many, because that's what I do in the male space. That old adage of you can't be what you can't see. So the more from different areas that we have in that might encourage more girls to take up refereeing. I enjoy watching how far I've come and how far I also have to go. She's really, really exceeding all of our expectations. Our goal for Rihanna is to push her into the NRLW as quick as possible. I would like to make it to the NRL. That would be the top ultimate goal. You know, the female game is really pushing forward, so it's encouraged a lot more girls to come and referee and be involved and try and push to get to that level. So it's hopefully only going to get more.